What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Omni Sensei. Welcome to, What If I Was Reborn as Multiversal Broly? The Legendary Super Scion. Part 2. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Also, remember to check out the original story, link in the description. Without further ado, let's get into it. Perfect, explaining the situation to them, they surely want to depend on me in the case of some external threat. With this, they will try to please me, can you answer me one question now? Said Broly, who was still floating in the air playfully. Yes, of course Kami replied, trying to hold on with his cane. I really want to ask how it is possible that this place is always floating in the air, but better I continue with the plan, what are those Dragon Ball you were talking about recently? They seem to be incredible objects for what you said Broly asked feigning ignorance. Mr. Popo and Kami were surprised by that question, the existence of Dragon Balls was not something to be taken lightly I see you also heard that, well, a deal is a deal, I'll tell you. The Dragon Balls are. I know perfectly well what they are, but I must ask this question. It would be very strange if the first day an unknown alien with great power began to gather the Dragon Ball from nothing. In the doubt of the purpose that I could give them, Kami could eliminate the Dragon Ball, or even commit suicide to make them disappear. I could create suspicion and they wouldn't let me use the hyperbolic time chamber or they would let me use it, but could destroy the entrance, leaving me trapped inside. There are too many inconveniences in not asking this question, and looking like someone dangerous or excessively mysterious either because of my power or knowledge. I'll have to feign ignorance for a while the Kami began to explain what they were and how they worked, and Broly feigned surprise and stupefaction. So if I collect the seven dragon ball, a huge dragon will appear and grant me a wish. Broly asked, feigning more or less the illusion that a small child should have before something similar, but also because of the expectation that he had for the process and the result Kami, happy and concerned about the friendly but effusive attitude of Broly to learn about the operation of the Dragon Ball said yes, that's right, although Shinran cannot always grant every wish, there are certain rules that. However, Broly, who didn't want to hear all the explanation that Kami wanted to give, interrupted him then I'm going to look for them this can be funny. After seeing the dragon and asking for the wish I will return, I do not think it will take me long. See you later he said as he flew down again with the same speed. Mr. Popo and Kami stood without being able to say anything, everything had been very sudden, and it had happened very foolishly, Mr. Popo was the first to break that heavy silence. Kami-sama, do you think we have done well to tell him about the dragon ball? Kami, who returned to recover his composure, answered with some doubt uncertain. Despite having a monstrous power at the end, he's just a little boy. I don't think he will ask for anything dangerous, right? Mr. Popo reflected on the words of Kamisama and said worriedly hey hey yay at the end of Corin Tower Corin was sleeping peacefully like a good fat cat, one more time, cats sleep between 12 and 16 hours a day, when suddenly, boom! Once again, a supersonic sound exploded very close to where Corin was, throwing him through the air by the impact and waking him up during the process. Angry and outraged, he shouted damn. We must respect the time of the nap of others. It is called having good manners. Broly who could hear him shouted I'm sorry. Corinne, I was not expecting that person would have listened to him, much less that he answered in that way ah well, if you apologize nothing happens. I forgive you. But don't do it again. Then again that voice answered, I can't promise anything. Corinne, standing thunderstruck in his palace said to himself oh men, he is a troll Broly returned to the island where his beloved kid, the best spaceship he had built awaited him. Then he got right in the middle of the island. It seems that it has been a good first contact with those three as well. For now, I will assemble the Dragon Ball in an effective and efficient way. Broly thanks to his and could locate everything that existed on planet Earth, no small detail could escape high, even the best hidden things, things that even the gods would not want to be found. And evidently, he also found all the seven Dragon Balls at once. It's been so quick and easy to find them. This takes away all the romantic charm of undertaking a fun adventure to find them. However, I sincerely prefer the tranquility and comfort, it's a shame, but you cannot have everything in this life. Anyway, come to me. House of Gohan Son Gohan was trying with all his might to put Goku into the bathtub when, come on Son Goku, you have to bathe. When he suddenly looked around and saw something amazing, huh? 
What is happening? That strange sphere has gone flying. Came house. Mutant Rashi our beloved and perverted teacher was watching an adult magazine, when suddenly, an orange sphere with stars flew out of his house. He didn't even notice because of how concentrated he was with his magazine. Broly used his telekinesis in the seven dragon balls at the same time, and from their respective positions he made them fly towards him. In a few minutes, the seven were assembled in front of him, the seven shone intermittently. They were ready to be used, I thought I would feel good about having to gather them in such a quick and cool way, but I feel somewhat empty, it has been quite boring. Seriously, it has been too easy. Being so strong has its problems, now I understand Android 17, and Saatama. They needed to put limits and stupid games to have a little fun, however, I like to be efficient and effective. I don't like to do the idiot to lengthen things unnecessarily, ahhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
I'll try a few minutes later Shinran after meditating for a long time returned to show signs of being alive and replied it has not been easy, although enough knowledge hasn't been possible to obtain them, only the most important, powerful and known of our universe and the top tier of the other, if you agree it seems that I can grant you your wish, Broly was about to kiss the ground in appreciation and said great. Finally. Come one start, all right Shenron replied, Shenron's red eyes shone brightly. He was fulfilling his wish. In Broly's head an incessant stream of information appeared, it was as if Shenron were a hard drive and he, a computer. And Shenron was trespassing a whole library of movies, songs, and files, which was not a quick process, and of course it overloaded the computer a lot. In this case Broly, which, if it were not for the juggin, would be feeling a big headache right now. However, he took it as a fun challenge, and began a long meditation session after three hours. Shenron had already finished transferring all the information he could to Broly I have already fulfilled the wish, I retire Shenron went back inside the Dragon Ball, which flew into the sky, and when they were about to disperse. Where do you think you are going? Said Broly, who was still in meditative posture with his eyes closed. Using the telekinesis Broly grabbed all the Dragon Ball about to disperse and stopped them in the air later also using his telekinesis he returned them precisely to the same place where he had found them. House of, Gohan was sitting in his old chair while Goku had finally fallen asleep, when suddenly he saw something enter his house again and placed exactly where the Dragon Ball had been before. Hey, a round stone? These days very strange things are happening, and they are all due to round flying objects came house. Master Rashi was once again distracted watching his favorite aerobic program when suddenly a round stone quietly entered his house and placed himself exactly where the Dragon Ball was previously, thrown in the storage room. Temple of Kami Mr. Popo checked out from the heights as Shinran had left and observed the strange reaction of Kamisama and asked concerned Kamisama, what wish has Broly asked? Some evil wish? Kamisama shook her head and said, no, I do not think he asked for something bad. It seems that he is just a little boy wanting to know many things. However, 12 universes? Universe 6? Universe 7? What the hell was he talking about? In addition, why did he return all the Dragon Balls to where they were before? Kami was a local deity, he knew nothing of the existence of other universes. Because he did not want to change the historical course of the classic Dragon Ball saga, Broly decided to return all the Dragon Ball where they were before, so that there would be no differences in Goku's first adventure. However, that did not worry Broly too much now. Now he was amazed by all the information that was in his head. Ha 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 ha. Yes. 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 I would have liked to know even more, but this is awesome. I'm almost like Google. All the information is in my head and I can access it whenever I want, it's even better than my own memory. Remember that the Broly of old movies remembered that Goku didn't let him sleep as a baby. If that is not to have an elephant memory, I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's everything I wanted and even more than I expected. Wonderful, wonderful, this will save me years of hard work and travels, Broly had successfully completed the first part of his plan. With a single wish, he had managed to accumulate the vast majority of the useful knowledge of the universe. Knowledge that if he hadn't acquired them in this way he would have to travel planet by planet, even in other existential planes. Convincing and asking other people to teach him all this knowledge, and spend some time in assimilating all these skills. Key manipulation, key sense, and training methods of the Earth. Other equal or more advanced than Earth incredible skills seen during the series. Such as Kaioken, Jenkadama, for Witch's Technique, Solar Flare, Kamehameha, Tri-Beam, Death Beam, Hienzen, Barrier, Energy Absorption, Galactic Donut, Eye Lasers, Spirit Sword, Explosive Wave, Absorption Barrier, Thunder Flash Attack, mouth energy wave. Even magical or mystical abilities like fusion dance, magic materialization, healing, kai kai, instant transmission, teleportation sorcery, manipulation sorcery, wizard barrier, sealing spell, hypnosis technique, mafuba, telekinesis, telepathy, premonition, transfiguration magic. Nevertheless, even spending years looking for the people who could teach him those skills, he could not have gotten as much knowledge as he had gotten with the wish, since that knowledge no longer existed. The clan of the dragon was a clan with ancestral knowledge that goes back to the origins of the universe, in his memory were techniques of great martial artists that had been lost in the abyss of time. Techniques that would help him in the present and future. He had obtained an almost complete map of the universe, with practically all the locations he wanted to acquire, except for some locations such as the sacred planet of the Kao Shin or the planet of Beerus. Now I knew the use and existence, and creation of mystical objects such as the Pot Era earrings, the sacred water, Senzu Bean, 
fruit of the tree of might, hyperbolic time chamber, time ring, dragon balls. All the existing scientific knowledge, such as Dr. Bright's invention, the capsules based on space applications and also Dr. Amori's time-based scientific knowledge, and most of the scientific knowledge regarding space travel that was in possession of King Cold. I have struggled to formulate that wish, but it was worth. The Dragon Ball seemed to grant a wish exactly as the wisher imagined. Shenron is not as useless as he seemed. I will still need more wishes, but for now, I need to settle my new knowledge, and improve them. Temple of Kamisama Kamisama was still watching Broly, who was quietly meditating on his island for minutes, when suddenly. Kai Kai Broly said with his eyes closed with those words Broly completely disappeared from Kami's vigilance, when suddenly. I'm back said Broly who touched Kami's back. Ahaha! Shouted Kami, who was not expecting that ha 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 Broly laughed, little pleasures of life. See the god scared by a three-year-old child, ha ha hello, I've already returned as promised. It has been difficult, but that lizard has more or less fulfilled my wish, you have exaggerated a bit about his skills, but he is not entirely useless said Broly, floating face down with his arms crossed. Lizard? Not entirely useless? Kami thought as he cried internally, I'm glad you could ha your wish granted. There had never been anyone who wanted knowledge like you. Normally everyone just wanted to satisfy their greed, wanted to be kings, dominate the world or similar desires however, you're different, I'm happy about that said Kami, not lying. He was extremely restless due to the desire that little monster could ask for, and when he saw that was knowledge, he felt relieved. However, the process of asking for the wish had intrigued him enormously, this. Broly, about what you said during the wish. But Broly interrupted him it has been a very interesting day we will see one of these days, for now I have much knowledge that I have to reorganize and practice. However, first I have to apologize to a sleepy cat said Broly with a mischievous smile. Kai Kai said Broly and disappeared. Kami and Mr. Popo stood once more looking at nothing, sighing and saying, this desire has given wings to a tiger. Now we cannot sleep peacefully at night without fearing that he appears behind our back. At the end of the Corin Tower, Corin was peacefully asleep again, but due to the continuous interruptions he was somewhat alert in case a prankster boy would fly again at an absurd speed at his side. What he didn't expect is that now that imp could teleport. Broly sidled up to Corin from behind and stroked his head and said to the ear, Hello kitty. Corin, more frightened than ever, jumped several meters and with his hair completely bristling, looked at Broly meowing like a cat would don't scare people when they're sleeping. Corin shouted indignantly ha 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 if you're always sleeping said Broly teleporting again behind Corin to caress him Corin, annoyed by being treated like a cat leave me. Please. He said trying to get rid of Broly's grip, I've wanted to do this since I was 7 years old ha ha ha, when Broly got tired of petting Corin like he was a cat, let him go. Corin, trying to take out the little dignity that was left to him today, leaning on his cane, presented himself. I am not a cat, I am Corin also known as the god of martial arts. Have some respect said Corin what are you doing here alone? Don't you get bored? Broly asked, not impressed too much. Yes, I'm bored, that's why I sleep most of the time. My mission is to guard this tower and the sacred water, only those who have managed to climb up here are worthy to drink it and gain a lot of power Corin said trying to look grandiloquent. MMMM? It looks like normal water said Broly, grabbing the water bottle from the center of the room. It's normal water, but I prevent you from drinking it, for that reason if someone is able to drink it, it means that he has improved, that has become stronger, although with you, it would be impossible, you are immensely stronger than me Corin said, being honest with Broly oh, I see. I happen to be somewhat thirsty. What do you think if I equal your power, and we play your game? It can be fun said Broly in a childish tone Corin thought about Broly's offer and said okay, it's okay. I will have the water subject, you will have to catch it, if you win me I will give you a gift. You are ready? Broly reduced his power beyond even that Corin level to make this a more fun competition. However, it didn't take him long to catch him, and when he did, NOO. Let go. Don't, don't, don't tickle me. No. Corin said in agony as Broly went back to treating him like a cat, for minutes. Well, let's get down to business, today I've done so much exercise, so I've been hungry what do you eat here? Broly asked, feigning ignorance. Corin I only have those beans, but they are not normal beans. They are called senzu bean, just by eating one you will be fed for 30 days. And only I can create them here, awesome, right? Broly feigning stupefaction said wow, it's awesome Mr. Cat Corin, despite being called a cat, he was proud to impress Broly. T. Corin, do you mind if I take some of these senzu bean? Broly asked trying to make it sound quite casual yes, I don't see any problem, there are quite a few jugs, 
Take the ones you want, Corinne said to please Broly so he wouldn't treat him like a cat. The amount you want? Okay, I will not be generous, Broly. Using the materialization magic for the first time, materialized a quite large sack. Which greatly surprised Corinne, since the only other person who had seen with a similar skill was precisely the Kami. Broly to the amazement of Corinne began to fill the sack until it was overflowing, this sack had more than 100,000 seeds, a huge amount, but he still left many in the Corinne Tower, he was not the only one that would need them. By the way, where is my gift? Broly asked. The gift, ah yes. Corinne said as he approached one of the ends of the platform and waving his cane, a giant cloud appeared. Corinne indicated to Broly that he could take a piece of that big cloud and use it as a transport, as Corinne hadn't indicated the maximum size. Broly grabbed more than 10 meters of cloud, which left Corinne somewhat pissed. With this, his visit to Corinne's tower had ended. Perfect, he hasn't told me about ultra-sacred water. The ultra-sacred water unlocks a fraction of the hidden potential the body has. The problem is that it is poisonous, and I don't want to eat anything poisonous also, according to my theory, this is precisely what caused the heart attack to Goku in the Android Saga, it is not normal for a scion to have from such strange diseases, minutes later, when Broly was about to leave with the Kai Kai he said oh by the way, treasure these seeds, not remove the hunger. If someone is injured, even if he is on the verge of death, he will only need to eat one to miraculously recover. So, don't do as stupid as giving thousands to a person or leaving them in plain sight of anyone. Goodbye Corinne, who felt as if he had been struck by lightning for all this information, said, and you tell me that now? Now that you've taken more than 100,000? Come back here. What a good time I had. Not as much as with King Vegeta, but it's not bad. Perfect, I already have thousands of hermit seeds, a flying cloud which I will not use much, but it was a gift, which means it's free. Oh yeah. The environment is so relaxing compared to the planet Vegeta. I hope I don't get too used to it and neglect my training like Gohan did, Broly who had used the Kai Kai return to his island, which years later would be known as Broly Island. I already have all the skills I would want, food for leftovers, healing methods, good weather. Now it's time to be productive Broly put his arms in the form of an X, and as if they were illusions, three more Brolys appeared, after a few seconds those illusions became solid. It was a cloning technique of one of our Z-Warriors. Multiform? My cousin's technique, the other Triclop Tien Shinhan, at first Broly wanted to buy Suzaku's technique, which allows creating six clones that apparently had similar combat power to the original, but why would he spend points in something like that with this option? The problem with this technique is that it divides the power into equal parts, so it is not very useful for a battle against someone strong, however as with Naruto's Kagebushin I will be able to perform several actions at once and learn from them at the same time, although I can only make four, for now that's why Piccolo performed similar techniques when he trained alone. I still have many years before the Z series begins, so I can take it more calmly but. I don't like to waste my time, either, each of the Broly clones took a different role. One of the clones would be responsible for rebuilding Broly Island, as well as improving Kid with all the technological advances that had burned into his memory. For this, on this occasion, he wouldn't steal materials from his surroundings, since he had something very special, the materialization magic. Thanks to that magic, Broly was able to create materials that didn't even exist on planet Earth or that were incredibly difficult to extract or process, although the first few times he didn't achieve very perfect materialization, he kept practicing again and again. Between the magic of materialization and telekinesis, not only he got a better spaceship than he already had and a base of operations on his favorite planet, he trained his key and then control, his magic and put into practice certain knowledge that would help him a lot in the future. Two other clones would be responsible for practicing all the fundamentals he had gained on the use of key until he could match the deep knowledge he had about none. For this, they would fight each other in the gravity chamber of the spacecraft. Fighting, the most efficient way who has a scion to improve. Meanwhile, his main body, would be practicing several of the skills he had been able to find to become familiar with, the most useful or different among them. Although many look like the same technique, most had come to similar points from different bases, so it was not easy for Broly to focus on a few. He was quite a perfectionist when he was passionate about something and wanted to get to the origin of these techniques, so much that he lost more time than usual, although he had a lot of time to spare. Among the techniques he practiced the most, apart from the multiplication technique, of course, it was the Kaioken. It is a technique that multiplies the user's key thus increasing their power and speed and enabling them to inflict serious damage to opponents who are considerably stronger than them. However, the downside of the Kaioken is that it takes a heavy toll on the user's body, making them more vulnerable to enemy attacks, with its maximum increase being x20. 
The Kaioken is a technique that was forgotten from Frisia Saga because after that saga all the power multipliers were based on the Super Scion transformation. The Super Scion is an energy transformation that multiplies x50 the power of the user, transforming its energy to another state thanks to the S cells. Kaioken is a technique that only and exclusively increases the base power. But only multiplies the base when it is at its base level, if it undergoes an energetic transformation that changes the nature of that base, that technique no longer works. For that reason, the Kaioken was never used again. In the manga, the official history, but. The damn morons of TOEI animation committed the atrocity of combining the Super Scion and the Kaioken. They had the audacity to do Ion Dragon Ball Z once in a damn filler chapter. They only committed that atrocity once, nothing more, so, I can let it go, maybe? But in the damn anime of Dragon Ball Super they had the damn effrontery of doing this something fairly official. You maniacs. You blew it up. A.H., damn you. God damn you all to hell. If Goku could do this, he will have combined K.I.O. Ken and Super Saiyan in a suicide fights like Cell or Bu. Even when he was dead? Why did he not use it? Stop bringing inconsistencies to the story, but now this was a very necessary technique for him currently, due to his overly calm mentality, the problem of tail compatibility or the fact that he hadn't produced enough S.L.s because of his young age. Broly couldn't transform into Super Saiyan, not being able to get the x50 multiplier or, in his case, an overwhelmingly superior multiplier. However, he did have the transformation in true scion, which multiplied x10 the total power of the scion. The true scion wasn't an energy transformation like the super scion. The true scion is a physical transformation that fundamentally changed the physical structure of the scion, not adding a hidden energy to increase his power, this transformation increases his base form totally. Therefore, the Kaioken and the True Scion were perfectly compatible. With the Kaioken in his True Scion form, Broly had nothing to fear from the most imminent big threats, which were Frieza, and his father King Cold. But also, and perhaps the most important, Broly had managed to access several very useful techniques, techniques not seen in the manga or anime. There was a technique he wanted, but he didn't expect to find, a technique Broly wanted to create since he was in the incubator. A technique by which he was willing to spend a wish even with the Super Shinran if he hadn't been able to find it or create it by other means. But fate favored him, since on his first day on planet Earth he was able to obtain that technique. That technique was a master key in his plans, although this technique was difficult and quite opposed to the nature of the science, for Broly it wouldn't be an impossible challenge. In headquarters of the space patrollers, Jocko was having a meeting with the Galactic King and one of the Galactic Patrol commanders to explain the details of his last mission. The Galactic King began with the conversation, Hello Jocko, how was the mission? What happened to planet Earth? Minimally concerned about Jaco's performance. The mission, has gone well? Jocko said hesitantly, as if everything had not gone as well as he said. You will not have mistakenly eliminated the whole population of the planet again? Asked the Galactic King, putting himself in the worst situation in the case of Jocko. Waving the arms no, no, I swear that this time nothing of that happened, the Earthlings are safe and sound. Thanks to me the peacekeeper of the galaxy the chosen super elite galactic patrolman Jocko he finished with his classic pose. After the galactic king and the commander made it look like they had not seen that ridiculous pose, asked the galactic king, then you have fulfilled your mission? No. I don't know very well how to define it Jocko said hesitantly again the commander, seeing that something had happened, asked, did you find the scion? Yes, a scion came to the planet, although it was not at the time we calculated he reported, making himself interesting. The commander, ignoring his usual strange behavior, asked him, were you able to eliminate him? No, it was impossible Jocko said with cold sweat, was it an adult scion? The galactic king asked, minimally worrying about the reasons for the failure of the mission, and perhaps also for the safety of Jocko. Jocko, with shame and indignation, answered, no, it was a child. The commander, in a mocking tone, asked sarcastically, so you were defeated by a defective scion child of those who are sent to suicide missions? Jocko felt that he was losing all the dignity he had, or that he thought he had said he was not a normal scion child, this one had three eyes, a very strange ship, he was very strong and had strange abilities. The Galactic King, without paying any attention to the protest and details of Jocko, said after sighing, then you have failed your mission Jocko, not giving up, tried to justify using the arguments of tights, arguments that even he believed I don't think I failed, that scion did not seem to have bad intentions despite being so strong. I don't think he is a threat to planet Earth the commander, somewhat irritated, said while reading a report stop with the excuses Jocko, you have failed your mission, so this will be deducted from your salary. 
In addition, we have realized that the ship we gave you has been modified. And everyone knows that you're too dumb, you have no mechanical knowledge. Therefore, someone had to help you get back from that planet. Which means that we have probably given our technology to a primitive civilization. Changing its way of life this will also be deducted from your salary Jocko desperately pleaded no, please no. I have difficulties in reaching the end of the month after Jocko went out of the meeting room completely depressed, some senior officials were still talking about what happened. He really is the most useless patrolman of all said the galactic king, totally true king what do we do with planet earth. Said the commander don't do anything we sent Jocko precisely because there was no problem with losing that planet said the galactic king as he retired Frisia spaceship. Sitting in his flying chair, Frisia watched the landscape of the space next to Dodoria. When suddenly Zarban entered the room and knelt down near Frisia High Lord Frisia. Frisia turned to him and said report, Soldier Zarban Zarban nodded and gave him the message apparently the message of regrouping we sent to all the Scions did not reach all the spaceships and one in particular ignored the call Frisia thought in silence for a few seconds and asked how many survived. Zarban continued reporting a total of 14 Scion spaceships have arrived and request to know what happened to the planet Vegeta Frisia with a sinister smile said HHMMM the one who ignored the call was the Prince Vegeta. Zarban nodded, that's right Lord Frisia, Prince Vegeta is among the survivors Frisia, resting his hand on his cheek and said with a sinister laugh. It's just like his father, too proud, they could have been good pawns in my army, but? It's a pity that the god of destruction, Beerus suggested me to destroy them. Although, I would surely have ended up doing the same thing, ho 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 I don't like those scion too much Dodoria with pride and some arrogance for his position asked what do we do with the survivor scions, Master Frisia? We killed them. Frisia watching out the window said, no, they can still be useful. Despite being stupid and proud, they are still quite useful. And now that they have lost their home planet, they will have no choice but to submit completely to me. I haven't lost hope that they can become my loyal subjects at your command, Lord Frisia replied Dodoria and Zarban at the same time. Frisia continued with her speech, I am also glad that Vegeta has survived. He is surely the scion with the greatest combat potential in history. The other weird case in recent years had been that strange three-eyed boy from the reports, but he had a very low fighting power, and he was still very small, and this is not a daycare. Who knows, maybe with Vegeta can finally see if there is that super scion that has been spoken of for centuries in my clan is real or not. Tell those monkeys that the planet was unfortunately destroyed by a meteor shower and make sure nobody talks about what happened on the planet Vegeta Capsule Corporation Dr. Brief and Bulma were working together on the construction of a hovercraft, the new invention of Capsule Corporation after the visit of Jocko, they were able to analyze his spaceship and create these vehicles. While Panchi brought them sweets to eat, tights appeared in the workroom. Papa, Mama, little sister. I'm going back to Amori Island, don't wait me for dinner. Tights told the whole family as she grabbed the vehicle keys. Panchi with his usual good humor so characteristic said okay honey, do you want me to prepare something for you and your friends? No mom, no need replied Tights casually, are you going to go with that weird alien friend or with the one you told that have three eyes and a monkey tail? Bulma asked, which was analyzing some components. With neither, Jocko has returned to his job and Broly. He has not contacted me since then. I guess he'll be busy. Tight said with a thoughtful face, putting a finger between his cheek and his lip. While Dr. Brief was still assembling parts of the vehicle, it's a shame, I would have liked to see his spaceship, by how you described it seemed spectacular. Bulma working in the other part of the vehicle said I want to see it Papa. Jaco's spaceship was fun, but I want to try another one, besides I would like to see an alien who doesn't behave like an idiot. Tight's already leaving in a hurry said well, if I see him, I'll tell you something. Bye, Kami Temple Mr. Popo was fixing the garden of the temple and Kami had gone for a walk outside. Kami noticed several irregularities in the garden and asked Broly have come back today. Mr. Popo still arranging the plant said yes, he has been training with me Kami extremely surprised asked, since it was impossible that this could be called training considering the difference in strength, with you? Training. Mr. Popo left the plants and addressed Kami yes, he adapted his level of power to mine, he learns excessively fast and every time he made new tactics and techniques. He's really a prodigy Kami, surprised, but not too much, asked have you been training him in the hyperbolic time chamber? Mr. Popo grabbing a shower said not yet, he says he wants to wait for the right moment, since he only has two attempts Kami, who did not understand what Broly was scheming, said MMM, that guy is too mysterious, strong, and intelligent. I'm sure he's scheming something. Mr. Popo released a capsule on the floor and a great variety of useful and automatic devices for the daily life appeared, especially for cleaning. 
he said, but he has brought us all this, it's a bit of a bastard, but it's not bad at all Cammy, a little moved by the detail, said, it's a pity that he is not pure-hearted, with his abilities he would be a magnificent Cammy. Corinne Tower. Corinne was lying on the ground in. Zzzzz, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Zzzz, evidently, he was sleeping. House of Gohan. Gohan was sitting in his chair while Goku, with his head bandaged, was stretched out on the bed sleeping. That has been a very serious blow to the head, it is a miracle that he has not died. Poor Goku, he lost his memory and he still hadn't told me where he came from or what he was doing on that device. But I must see the positive side of the story, after the hit he is much peaceful, he seems a completely different person. Planet of Beerus. Beerus was eating extremely noisily while Whis was preparing even more food. Beerus, who had already finished eating as much as he could, put on his pajamas and said to Whis Whis, I'm going to sleep a little, I don't think it'll take me too much, probably only 30 or 40 years, see you later Whis with his usual carefree attitude said okay, when you wake up, try to better fulfill your role as god of destruction please. Broly Island, not yet officially inaugurated. The Brolies continued to build the island, training and practicing different energy application techniques, creating explosions in the sky, which scared away all the fauna, whether terrestrial, aerial or maritime animals. When Broly was satisfied with the development of one of his new energy attacks, he decided to take a break. He went to the giant fridge they had created and took several drinks. Ah, nothing like a cola after a little exercise? And I can take a normal one, and not zero or light, another good thing about being scion is the metabolism. It will be difficult for me to get fat. While drinking almost everything in the fridge, Broly noticed a drink. It wasn't an unusual drink, in fact, it was the most usual drink on the planet. H2O, or water, as you prefer to call it soon I should be able to start creating my special technique. I already know that I'm a specialist, so I don't need the water divination test to know it, but it can be fun to see what phenomenon I can cause all the specialists have a different 1 inch water divination test is the most useful process to know the nature of your nan a student of nan will place their hands around the glass and perform run. The resulting effect from one's aura contacting the glass will determine a person's aura type. If the volume of the water changes, the user is an enhancer. If the taste of the water changes, the user is a transmuter. If impurities appear in the water, the user is a conjurer. If the color of the water changes, the user is an emitter. If the leaf moves on the water surface, the user is a manipulator. If a completely different change appears, the user is a specialist. Broly materialized a glass with water and with telekinesis grabbed a fallen leaf on the ground. He filled the glass and put the leaf on the surface of the water. Broly put his hands around the base and focused his run. And practically in the same second a rather strange phenomenon occurred. The water and the leaf that floated in the water, both had disappeared completely year 744 it's been 5 years since the day Broly landed on earth. Broly was now 8 years old, and despite being a few years older. His body had not changed at all, he was still a dwarf. Scions have a naturally long childhood, retaining a small and childlike appearance for much of their early life. Goku appeared to be no older than an average 7 to 8 year old earthling, and 2 years later, at age 14 he'd barely grown at all, with his limbs growing out only slightly, a small increase in height and musculature. After 3 years, however, upon reaching physical maturity, Goku's body underwent a massive growth spurt. At the age of 20, Goku was around the same height as Yamcha, who was only 2 years older at the time. I'm going to be a hobbit until I'm 17 years old luckily I know that in the future I will be a muscular and virile man. Not a half meter like Krillin, Vegeta, or Frieza. I could wish to become adult to Shenron. As Palaf and the others did, he successfully turned them into children again, but I don't know if becoming an adult can have bad consequences. What if I miss the best stages to train? It's say that children absorb information very quickly it will be better to go step by step, rushes are not good traveling companions. In addition, the trauma of some will be greater if a small child defeats him, after five years of construction, the Broly Island was already finished. Thanks to the magic of materialization, that has reached an absurd limit. Broly didn't have it any of logistics, storage, waiting time of arrival of materials or budget problems. It was as if he were building his house in Sims with all the existing expansions and with the trick of infinite money, and his telekinesis was the construction tool. In a few years, the desert island became a sort of fortress-slash-seven stars paradisiacal futuristic hotel with a spaceship in the hangar, KID 2.0. Tens of times faster and despite having a size four times smaller, its interior was 100 times more spacious, thanks to the technology of Dr. Brief, which allowed to attach in it a gravity camera that increased x800 the normal gravity, and of course a bigger jacuzzi. 
In a private cove on the island, near a self-managed bar were several people sunbathing in luxury hammocks eating and drinking simply perfect? This is the paradise it said that Spartans had no comforts, no luxuries, and that this is why they were one of the most important warriors nations in the history. Huh. Idiots, sure, that's why they went extinct. Am I right, guys? Said Broly Yeast. Ha ha ha. Shouted at the same time another 15 Brolies who were doing exactly the same, drinking and eating while sunbathing. Broly didn't need to talk to his clones, unlike Naruto's Kagebushin, they shared the same mind in real time, it was unnecessary to communicate something. It's as stupid as talking to yourself, pretending to be another. However, he thought it was funny. Life is too absurd to take it so seriously you have to laugh whenever you can. Moreover, if nobody makes the joke, I'll have to do it myself, or one of my clones ha ha ha, Brolies, I'm going to train with Mr. Popo, see you later, remember to do your homework said Broly as he took off his swimsuit, destroyed it and materialized a training suit directly in his body. Sure, don't worry Broly said the Brolies lying in the hammocks trust us, Broly, we are you after all ha 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 said other Brolies who were inside the house doing other things. Broly during these five years had been working and improving many techniques and magic that he had won with his wish. Among them, the one that he used the most was multiplication, which he used every day, trying to improve the number of clones, his quality and applicability, to be able to do even more tasks, and other functions. I have to start socializing with more people, with other people. Or at this rate, I will end up becoming a self-centered narcissist like Zamasu, hugging myself, or something worse. If I keep improving the cloning technique at this rate, Broly said as he watched his island full of Brolies. Broly, who seemed to have taken no action, instantly teleported in front of Mr. Popo Hello Mr. Popo, how about a little training again, don't worry. I will contain myself excessively, as always said Broly in a casual way, as if they were lifelong friends. Mr. Popo not surprised by the sudden appearance of Broly as always? Forgive me for doubting your words. You always say that, but then you use more strength than you promise me I repeat, I use the strength that I tell you, it is a special technique that improves my skills without increasing my strength said Broly, who seemed not to be the first time repeating this speech well. I agree, I have no other alternative. Mr. Popo said with a sarcastic tone during those five years, Broly had been training with Mr. Popo almost daily. Although Mr. Popo had a power only slightly higher than 1000, he was a created by deities to serve the Kami of the planet Earth. Mr. Popo had been training Kamas and prodigious warriors who had managed to reach Kamai Temple Palace from generations ago. Although he didn't possess a prodigious force in comparison to the rest of the universe. He was undoubtedly the strongest and most knowledgeable martial artist of the planet. Not using his wisdom and teachings would be a waste. Today I will reduce my combat power to 50, I will not fly or use bursts of ki or telekinesis, but I will use my new ability. I'm sure it will surprise you said Broly. Oh I'm expectant, but please don't cause too much damage, even if you repair the temple later it hurts me to see all the destruction said Mr. Popo don't worry, I doubt that I will destroy a lot, my technique doesn't have this purpose said Broly to reassure Mr. Popo. Broly moved his hands in an irregular way and released his aura, but it didn't break free in a normal way, as normally does the key or the nun. It didn't overflow the body, it didn't fluctuate in the least, it was like a thin almost imperceptible and uniform sheet made of green energy that shone with an intense green color. It seemed as if Broly's body shone with its own light. Mr. Popo with some indignation, that technique again, no. What's the use of telling me that you'll only use 50 fighting power if you do this? Broly suppressing all his strength to 50 and therefore his attack, speed, and defense in a proportional way, launched towards Popo at full speed, but. Mr. Popo once again realized that he was moving much faster than his level of power indicated. When he gave the first punch, he noticed that he had hit in a much more powerful than the power level he announced, when he counterattacked hitting Broly, he felt as if he had hit a concrete block. Not only that, his body acted in a very strange way. The attacks were too chaotic, when he attacked with his right punch at the same time he gave a left kick in a perfect way, without losing coordination, precision and power due to doing two different actions at the same time. It was as if he was fighting two Broly in the same body. Are you sure you're not cheating me? More than 50 you seem to be using 200. Said Mr. Popo suspecting Broly I'm sorry Mr. Popo, but I'm not cheating, my power is 50, check it with the detector I gave you. I'm in 50 from the beginning, Popo checked the power of Broly and the detector was right, he had not changed 50 at any time. How is it possible? Mr. Popo said, surprised another day by his strange ability, it's a kind of energy control that with the same level of power makes me use my energy more effectively. I'm not increasing my power, 
I'm just making my energy better and therefore all my abilities improve said Broly with arrogance. At least teach me how to do it Mr. Popo said, I'm afraid that in all the universes this is a skill that only I can have Broly said proudly. Why did Broly say that only he could learn this technique? Because you needed to have none, something that only he had in all the Dragon Ball universes. If the key is the Yang methodology of manipulation of the vital energy, then the Nan is the Yin methodology of manipulation of the vital energy. Broly from the time he was in the incubator was trying to combine the key and the Nan in a perfect way. In a certain way, he previously managed to combine the key and the Nan, but in a very poor imperfect way, he could hardly combine them well. If he used 100 units of Nan he could only combine them with 10 of key without losing the balance. However, despite this poor combination, the properties of his attacks and abilities improved visibly. At first, Broly believed that he can't manage a perfect combination because he didn't have a deep enough knowledge of key, but he also considered another possibility, which turned out to be the most certain. It required the use of the Nan whose first principle consists in retaining the aura, with the key whose first principle consists in releasing the aura from the body. It required the use of both opposite processes at the same time, something that was practically impossible to perform. For this, Broly wanted to create certain technical that would allow him to perform two actions at the same time, he was even willing to collect the Super Dragon Balls in case he could not get it, but Fortune smiled at his first wish, getting the Dual Body Mind technique. Dual Body Mind This technique is able to create an axis in the middle of his body, and control the left and right sides of his body freely yet separately, performing two different actions at the same time. But thanks to a great training and his juggin, which served as a link between the two sides of the body. He was able to not only perform two different actions at the same time, but also create a perfect synergy between the two actions and halves of the body. However, with just this technique, it wasn't enough to perfectly fuse these energies. Although he could perform both actions at the same time he was unable to combine them perfectly, it was like trying to combine potassium chloride and caramel without exploding. He was trying to combine contraction and expansion at the same time and want them to remain eternally in that state. After great effort, he was able to achieve this fusion for an instant less than a second. Which sadly depressed Broly for more than a week, but. In a blow of inspiration and remembering a forbidden technique of one of the most beloved mangas in his previous life, history's strongest disciple Kenichi, the Sidu Goitsu, got the solution for his problem. Sidu Goitsu It is a very dangerous technique from the ancient martial arts, Sidu Goitsu combines the opposing key of both Sei, Yin, and Do, Yang, by having the first being focused inward, while having the second explode outward. The result is an explosive boost in all of the user's physical capabilities and increased effectiveness in the user's martial arts techniques. However, due to the conflicting nature of the key of Sei and Do, extensive use of this technique causes a disruption in one's flow of key resulting in crippling, even fatal damage to the user. However, the technique itself didn't allow merging them, simply combining them. It took advantage of the one's recoil to give the other a bigger boost by creating an interval of powerful explosions inside the user's body, but if it were not for his powerful body of legendary Super Scion, he would very likely have been seriously injured when using it. Although that drastically increased his combat skills, it wasn't the result Broly expected. After many trials and sufferings, he understood the perfect combination. While one half would use Zetsu and subsequently run, the other half would perform the reverse process, release key, and then repress the key. As if they were two frequencies that combine in a single point for a moment, then stop combining, again. After years of practice, in which Broly managed to increase the speed of these two frequencies in an abysmal way, until reaching the plank length, he achieved the effect he was looking for. He managed to mix the Nan and the key perfectly they were not fully merged but, had the same effect as if they were merged, as if they were images that, when moving quickly to 24 frames per second, created a movie for the human eye. After years of training, suffering and great stress on his body and mind, he created the perfect combination of key and nan resulted in the KIEN. Because it was in constant compression and expansion on oneself in the most efficient way, it had formed around Broly a layer of KIEN with the thickness of a sheet of graphene, a thickness of two dimensions. However, that sheet of KIEN shone with such strength that seemed to be bigger. In that state, his total physical, energy, and mystic abilities have increased without increasing battle power. Combining the mysticity of Nan and the tangibility of Ki in all his skills. It also acted as a perfect armor that allowed attacking and defending at the same time with the same efficiency. It was like his had the Ko all over his body, although he didn't spend much more energy than keeping the Ten around the body. The union of Yin and Yang. Nan and Ki. The perfection he he he, 
Get ready Mr. Popo, now I'm going to show you the result of my special technique that I have created specifically to become the most powerful being Broly said. While his jug and shown in a, unusual way, Broly was completely static on the ground without moving the least about 20 meters from Mr. Popo. He extended his arm in the direction of Mr. Popo and while pressing his index finger against his thumb said be careful Popo eh. The next thing Mr. Popo saw was that the hand that was initially attached to Broly, instantly appeared in front of his face and hit him with his index finger. The blow threw him back a meter, it wasn't too painful, but it caught him totally by surprise, and he was more surprised to see that the hand was still in the air. Surprised, he looked at Broly's arm, and where his hand should be, there wasn't anything. The only thing he could see in the area where the amputated arm or hand should be connected was a strange green energy, which covered the end of his arm and the beginning of his hand. Mr. Popo extremely surprised and without understanding what was happening said what just happened. Broly with a mocking laugh said, I gave you a blow with my finger on your forehead, and you fell on your ass, come on, we still haven't finished the training. Mr. Popo got up from the ground and decided to approach to attack Broly, contrary to the defensive attitude he always used. However, just as he moved forward, the hand that remained in the air disappeared, reappeared just below his legs, and grabbed his ankle. The hand rose as if flying by itself, taking with it Mr. Popo, who had been caught by surprise, literally meanwhile, Broly kicked the air, and just when the leg was about to reach the maximum speed, disappeared. Appearing instantly in front of Mr. Popo, giving him a kick in the stomach, which he was able to block with his arms, hitting the ground by the impact. At that moment, Broly's hand and leg returned to his body instantly. Broly wasn't teleporting his hands and legs through portals like Janemba or Zamasu. They were not limited to a specific point of predetermined entry and exit. He could make them appear and disappear instantly wherever he wanted, as well as move them in the air from the position where they appeared to other places as if they were flying. What did you think of my skill? Awesome truth? Broly said as he gradually made his right arm disappear from top to bottom and making it appear from bottom to top. It's awesome Broly, with attacks like this you can catch even the most experienced fighters by surprise said Mr. Popo incredibly surprised by this strange ability. Broly satisfied with Mr. Popo's expression said come to me, attack, I promise my legs will not move from this place until the fight is over. It was as if Mr. Popo's attacks were going through Broly's body, as if he were an unattainable mirage. When Broly realized that Mr. Popo had realized that he was incapable of hitting Broly. Broly teleported the upper half of his body to Mr. Popo's back and while that upper half floated in the air, punched him in the arm, the same arm instance before tried to hit his body. Mr. Popo was about to return his attack with the same arm that was hit, but, horrified, he realized that part of his arm had disappeared, and that instead, in the same way as with the teleported parts of Broly, there was a kind of green energy covering the ends of the missing part. Broly, what have you done, where is the missing part of my arm? Mr. Popo asked in horror. He did not feel more pain than the one Broly inflicted on him with his blow, and after that part of his arm disappeared, but he was unable to know where it disappeared. In fact, it was as if that part no longer existed. He was unable to feel it. Broly's arm was gone and, he noticed how something had appeared behind him and had pierced his body. Broly's entire arm came in from his back and went through the other side, right where his heart was. Mr. Popo panicked, he thought that Broly had wanted to kill him, but, then he calmed down. He didn't notice any pain, there was no blood, and once the arm of Broly returned to its place, he saw how there was a circular hole in and out of his chest, whose interior was covered by the same green energy. Broly seeing the scared face of Mr. Popo said don't worry, I have only borrowed them and stored them somewhere else. I will return them after the fight or, you can even get it back by yourself, if you take the opportunity. When saying that, the green energy that covered its disappeared parts began to shine with force, and it began to expand, as if it was devouring the near parts, making them disappear. Despite the bizarre situation, be swallowed by a strange energy. Mr. Popo noted that although his missing parts did not return to where they should be, unlike before, he could feel them again, as if they were somewhere else. But at the same time they were still part of his body. Try to send energy to the missing parts, you will see what happens said Broly to try to help Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo listening to Broly sent a lot of energy to the parts that were trapped in that strange place and the devouring energy stopped moving forward, you have to send a little more said Broly. Mr. Popo increased the amount of energy towards the missing parts and little by little, the devouring energy began to recede, little by little returning the devoured parts to his original position. It was like a game of stretching and pushing, the one that you had to spend energy to prevent that devouring energy advancing and spend even more energy to recover the part of your stolen body. There was the risk of being completely devoured, 
but also the opportunity to recover what had already been devoured, even though that entailed an important energy expenditure. Mr. Popo after a few seconds, he had his body back to normal. What was that? Asked Mr. Popo, who wanted to know about this bizarre skill. Ha 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 ha. I'm sorry, it's a professional secret. By the way, what if I enter the hyperbolic time chamber? I think I've already stretched it too long, said Broly as he returned to transport the upper part of his body with the bottom. Mr. Popo, still shocked by everything that happened, said, yes, of course. Mr. Popo after talking with Kami, quietly accompanied Broly to the hyperbolic time chamber, which wasn't a short path inside the labyrinth of the temple. It's the first time I use it in battle, but my formless realm is awesome, and that I've only used its first phase, during the creation of his characteristic Nen ability, or rather, his characteristic K.I.E.N. ability. Broly thought about his more developed ability, his N. His N was so immense that it was able to cover beyond the solar system and thanks to the K.I.E.N. was able to keep it active all the time, even in combat. Therefore, he decided to create his skill based on his N, with that thought in mind, Broly started creating his skill. Broly created with Nana Realm, a dimension that only belonged to him. A hollow and green dimension where only he could exist and the maximum size of that realm, would be the maximum size that his N was able to have. Broly would be the absolute god of that realm, being able to enter and exit at will and move among its four dimensions. In the same way, he could also leave the formless realm to the normal world, as long it was a place to which the formless realm had access, a parallel dimension. The connection with the normal world was his end. Broly first sent a part of his body to formless realm and then made it reappear in a place of the normal world that was within the reach of formless realm. Being that green energy that surrounds both parts separated the same formless realm, which acts as a connection between both parts. For example, the whole arm enters the formless realm, and then the arm is teleported to a specific position inside the formless realm, the position where his target is in the normal world. Then the entire arm except for one centimeter of the arm, the centimeter of the lower end, goes outside to attack. In this way, he could not only teleport himself or part of himself within his own dimension, he could also send part of that part within its dimension outside the dimension. Also, since there was still a centimeter of that part inside the formless realm, that part was able to move three-dimensionally and teleport inside it, making the outer part move to the same position in the normal world. This gave the feeling that was the outside part, the one that was flying and teleporting. This was the trick behind the teleportation of parts of his body, or of his entire body. For the attack, transporting parts of his body or himself to attack quickly from unsuspected places for the defense, transporting parts of his body inside the formless realm and in that way, not be beaten. To flee, going inside the formless realm and escaping at its furthest point, or waiting inside until there is no danger. However, he needed to create that space. The maximum size was the one that had its end, but there wasn't a minimum size. Broly imposed the norm to create the space of that realm. To create a cubic meter, he must use 10,000 combat power in the form of energy, he chose 10,000 for being the amount of combat power he would have been born with. With that, Broly spent years filling his formless realm, creating clones, with which were constantly releasing and recovering energy to be able to enlarge its dimension. It was as if the end was a pool and the space created was the water that filled the pool, in those waters is where Broly could swim, dive and drink. That space would be filled in a circular way around Broly like the N until it was full. A somewhat tedious self-imposed restriction. Today his formless realm hadn't even filled 0.03% of his total, but, still, it was enough to have a size similar to that of the planet Earth and even more. The formless realm had many other applications, although most were not applicable to the battle now. What he showed in Mr. Popo were. Welcome to the Black Parade, Broly upon having contact with an object, either physically or by energy attack, with the exception of telekinesis, in the event that such contact has taken place within the end covered by the formless realm, it will be possible to devour that part within the formless realm. An exact portion of the combat power that is in the area of the object that you want to transport to the formless realm. If the arm area of Mr. Popo that Broly stole had an amount of 10,000 energy, Broly needed to sacrifice a cubic meter of formless realm to transport that part. When someone hits another hard, that other one will suffer damage, and that damage will cause the hit area to lose the energy that protected it. Therefore, the stronger the attack, less space from the formless realm must be sacrificed to steal that part. Except for Broly, everything that enters the formless realm was kept in a kind of stop time. Everything that went in, unless Broly brought it out, could never exist again, and the same form would exist forever in the same state it entered. A never ever land. Surrender, 
As long as there is a part of an objective within the formless realm, and the user is in the formless realm range, it will be possible to activate this skill. The formless realm connected to the stolen part of the enemy will begin to shine and spread to the rest of the body, increasing the stolen part, spending an equivalent amount of space in the formless realm. However, this is a double-edged sword, because if the necessary energy is supplied by the enemy to the part trapped in the formless realm, it will be possible to recover it. The affected will need to supply 33% of the energy that Broly is using to prevent the advance of the devouring and after that amount, he will be able to recover his affected part at a speed related to the energy used. Performing each of those skills meant losing space within the formless realm, a space that should be replenished again. Even though his clones were supplying 10,000 power units of combat power constantly to the formless realm, the fact of losing the space that had cost him so much to build didn't please him. That's why he put on this condition, to make his realm and skills stronger. This was only a small part of the abilities of his unique characteristic skill. And of course also only a small part of the restrictions and conditions of use of these skills, and of those that hadn't yet shown, or improved. Even though it seemed an incredibly powerful ability, and even invincible, it wasn't. It had enough restrictions, restrictions that would be seen later against strong enemies. After a while, Mr. Popo and Broly managed to get to the door of the hyperbolic time chamber. After Mr. Popo explained again how the hyperbolic time chamber operated, Broly entered alone. Upon entering, he looked around, he was inside the legendary central building of the dimension, outside the building, all the surroundings remain an infinite constant bright iridescent white aurora. Broly was inside the hyperbolic time chamber, with which he had always dreamed as a child, and not as a child. He he he, perfect, I have a maximum two years, or two days to, create my form realm, outside of the Kami temple. Mr. Popo and Kamisama were chatting between them, their faces showed some concern and impatience. Are you sure he understood the rules of the hyperbolic time chamber? It is about two days after he entered Kami asked Mr. Popo, it was evident that he was worried. Yes Kamisama, I told him perfectly, and I also made him repeat everything I said for greater security. I guess he must be about to leave replied Mr. Popo, also somewhat worried. Kami, who could no longer pretend not to be worried, said a person can only spend 48 hours in real lifetime inside the hyperbolic time chamber, if he exceeds this time, he will be forever trapped in that dimension, and we will never be able to see him again. I pray to the heavens that he will return soon. It is a somewhat special boy. How would you say, a bit of a? Mr. Popo finished his sentence, a bit of a bastard? Kami, Sama. Yes, that's right, a bit of a bastard, but deep down I know he's a good boy. He has a lot of jokes, but I have never seen him hurt anyone, and from time to time he has details with us. I hope he comes out safe and sound said Kami-sama solemnly. While praying, despite being a god. They both heard footsteps inside the temple. Those steps seemed to come specifically from the area where the hyperbolic time chamber was located. It couldn't be another person, it was Broly who had just left the hyperbolic time chamber and went quietly outside to greet them once again. Kami, Sama and Mr. Popo were happy for their return, they had been very worried. And partly they were also glad that Broly hadn't suddenly teleported to his side to play a joke on them. However, immediately that joy became restlessness. Those steps, are not normal. Kami Sama said with cold sweat on his green forehead. The steps that could be heard inside the temple were too long and heavy, they couldn't be made by the legs of a small child. Even if they had spent two years inside the hyperbolic time chamber, he was only nine years old. It was impossible that he had grown so much, it seemed the steps of a person more than two meters. The uneasiness in Mr. Popo and Kami, Sama was obvious, in his mind they only had thoughts like, what the hell will we see next? What has he become? Will it be the same Broly we knew? The footsteps grew closer and more powerful. Kami and Mr. Popo swallowed several times, because a silhouette was beginning to appear through the door. A tall silhouette of around 2 meters, which advanced towards the door. Eyes impossible, he has not been able to grow so much. Kami said as he got closer to the door, the figure of the person who came out of it became completely visible. Before the eyes of amazement of Kamisama and Mr. Popo, Broly appeared, and his body was. Completely the same as before. He hadn't grown or changed in the least, not even his hair, despite having spent two years, hadn't grown a centimeter. The two focused a little more on the appearance of Broly trying to find some difference, but, the only difference was his clothing, clothing that did not leave them indifferent. After two years of hard training, what everyone expects is that the clothes were torn and dirty, with a dirty body and a disheveled appearance due to the hard training routine, but, it wasn't with Broly's case. He was dressed in a child-sized Armani suit, covered in a luxurious bathrobe, moccasin shoes, a pure gold Rolex, sunglasses of the highest quality, 
and drinking cappuccino while reading the press. In addition, he was sitting, sitting in a large armchair that seemed to have been stolen from a royal palace. They looked down and saw that this chair had, it had long robotic legs, which advanced as if it were a person. Cammy and Mr. Popo understood now, from the beginning Broly, even before leaving the hyperbolic time chamber. He had been sitting in this strange chair with only one purpose, to play another joke. M, this cappuccino is delicious. Oh. Cammy, Popo, what a coincidence to find you here. I was reading the press. I've been absent almost 48 hours. I must be up to date with what's happening around me. Oh, what are these faces of indignation? By chance. Have you been worried that I did not leave on time and when you heard that I had left you were happy? But then you heard some very long steps that did not seem the same as mine, and you thought that I had grown excessively in a short time. Or that I had transformed into some strange and enormous being, worrying you enormously. When I was just sitting in my robo-armchair Kuin, which was moving towards the exit while I was relaxing myself. Because if it's been this way, it's very funny ha ha ha. I would love to see the face of surprise and indignation that you would put if that were the case. Yes. Exactly. Faces like the ones you have right now. You have understood me well, ha ha ha. Said Broly, dying of laughter in his robotic armchair. Cammy and Mr. Popo, who felt enormously outraged and humiliated by Broly's joke, again, sighed heavily and thought, I will never worry about him again. We should have told him that he could have been 200 days inside. So, we would not have to endure his jokes ever again, after a few seconds, the ones that they were trying to kill Broly with their mind. Have you been able to train correctly? Asked Cammy, who had serious doubts due to the appearance and attitude of Broly. Broly feeling outraged by Cammy's doubts, replied while dipping some cookies in his cappuccino, of course, I trained hard. Why do you doubt it? Mr. Popo and Kamisama, chose not to respond. Their reactions are not as fun as before. After five years I think they have become too used to my jokes a shame, Broly came down from his comfortable robotic chair and said it was an incredible experience, it's a shame that I could only be there for 48 hours, but it was worth it. Well, I think I should say goodbye for the moment. So maybe we will not see each other for a while, said Broly, fastening his bathrobe well. Cammy and Mr. Popo, surprised by the news, and somewhat happy about its content, asked you leave? How long? Where? They asked to make sure they had really heard what they had heard. That's right, I'm leaving. How long? Well, I couldn't say exactly how much. Maybe two years, five, ten, seventeen. I'm going to make some small trips through the universe. I've been accommodating too much and I think it's time to get out of my comfort zone said Broly checking his 14 carat clock. The two, both encouraged to hear his response we like it or not, we will miss you Broly, we hope everything goes well, and you can return safely as soon as possible, lie. Broly, if, don't worry, if some threat comes from outer space you can call me, and if I'm in a good mood maybe I'll help you ha ha ha? Just kidding, I built a house on this planet, I don't see with good eyes a group of aliens that want to destroy my private propriety. Said Broly who had read the mind to Kamisama, anticipating his question Kamisama, comforted by Broly's response, told him, I am happy with your answer, we are very grateful Broly something blushing said, come on, come on, let's not get sentimental, we'll see each other again Broly looked at his robot chair and said, as a detail for today, I give you my robo armchair Kuin. You are already a little older Kami-sama, and surely a chair like this can be very useful and comfortable. Well, see you in a few years. Bye. Broly disappeared from where he was, leaving alone in the Kami temple his two usual inhabitants, Kami and Popo, who were still standing in the same position as before. After a few seconds of taking a breath, which tasted like freedom, they started talking. It's a shame that he left for a while, he filled this place with happiness and joy Kami said while winking at Mr. Popo. You are right Kamisama, life without him will not be the same Mr. Popo said, winking also. He just left, and I miss him Kamisama said once again, winking his eye excessively, precisely with this phrase. Kamisama and Mr. Popo, they spoke winking in this way because they were not sure if Broly was still listening to them, it was evident that they were trying to say the opposite. Mr. Popo walked towards the inside of the temple and said I'm going to check in what state the hyperbolic time chamber is now. I hope he did not overdo it okay Mr. Popo, I'll wait for you here said Kami watching how Mr. Popo walked away. Seconds later Kami looked at the strange walking chair that Broly had given him and approached her. It has a very strange shape, but, it seems quite comfortable and useful. I guess I have no excuse to not try it Kami said as he approached the chair. Kami sat placidly in the chair and suddenly. Pfffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffff
Even Corinne woke up from fright Kamisama totally flushed, got up and inspected the cushion where he sat and realized that Broly had put on the couch a fart cushion, one very powerful. It turned out that this innocent and generous gift, was another damn joke. Broly I I I I Mr. Popo entered the time room to inspect his condition and repair the possible damage. Surprised, he realized that the insides of the building were in an unbeatable condition, in fact, Broly had taken the trouble to redesign everything, making the building much more modern and functional. Oh, there are even small robots doing housekeeping. This will save me work on following occasions. I'll have to thank him when I see him again Mr. Popo left the building towards the training area of the dimension and, he was horrified by what he saw. A few hundred meters from the building there was a huge crater. Mr. Popo couldn't believe what he was seeing, couldn't believe that someone could do that to the floor of the hyperbolic time chamber. Mr. Popo advanced towards the crater and at his side was a note that said Dear Mr. Popo I'm sorry. I've broken the floor a little bit signed by Broly ha 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 by now Mr. Popo must have discovered the crater and Kamisama must have screwed up. Well, time to collect the suitcases the dozens of Broly clones had already prepared everything he needed for the trip, storing it in the formless realm. I will leave 1% of my power on planet Earth just in case something happens. I don't know how my actions have been able to change the history, so it is better that I leave something of myself as a countermeasure Broly had managed to dominate and improve in a much more perfect way the multiform of Ten Shin Han, now he did not must divide his body between four and therefore his strength between four. Now it was possible to divide by percentage the number of clones and power that each clone had. For example, the original body had 99% of all its power and its other clone 1%, or the original body had 96% and two clones 2% each, or 100 clones with 1% each. Now it's time to visit my new Victi. I mean, dear character that I must visit. And troll him I am in the year 744, there are still 5 years until Bulma meets Goku, and 17 years for Raditz to reach the planet Earth. I have plenty of time to carry out my plans. First of all, let's play a joke on the prankster said Broly while using the Kai Kai, teleporting. North Kai Planet North Kai was quietly washing his car when, suddenly someone appeared right in front of him, a little boy with three eyes on his face. North Kai and Bubbles, his loyal pet, were surprised by the sudden appearance of that person and stopped doing everything they were doing. This is not where I parked my car said Broly trying to hold his laugh. Hey what? Said North Kai, not understanding what he was referring to. I see you haven't caught my joke, it hurts, you have no sense of humor said Broly showing disappointment. North Kai was quite outraged by Broly's claim, he was the North Kai, an inveterate prankster recognized throughout the galaxy. How could he say that he had no sense of humor? The fact that someone told him he had no sense of humor, was an affront to his honor that he couldn't tolerate, however. His indignation dissipated quickly as he realized a detail in the strange boy in front of him. He was not surprised by the strange eye he had on his forehead, but by the tail of a monkey that danced in the air, as if he were doing on purpose. North Kai stepped back several times in fear and said, Ahhhh, an evil scion. What does one of you do on my planet? Have you come to conquer it? Broly feigning outrage said, How come I'm evil? The fact that I am scion doesn't mean that I am evil, not all scion are obsessed with destroying and conquering planets. Let's go to the point. I'm here because we've done an analysis of your planet, and it seems interesting, despite being so small can be sold at a good price in the collector's market for its rarity. A pity, I'll have to kill you said Broly preparing a green energy ball. North Kai and Bubbles panicked by his words and the energy Broly was showing, despite his small size, that child was so strong that they couldn't do anything to prevent the destruction. No please, don't kill us, we are too young to die Broly dissipated his energy ball and laughing said ha 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 is joke North Kai. I didn't come here to kill you or to conquer your planet North Kai who had taken refuge in his house poked his head out the window, relieved by the words of Broly. So, what are you doing here? Asked North Kai, who had come out of hiding. Nothing in particular, I had heard you were an eminence in martial arts, but? I think they have exaggerated too much said Broly from the sky descending slowly to the small planet. North Kai, outraged by the hoax and how the child had disrespected him, and his reputation. I see you're an ignorant who confuses combat power with being an eminence in martial arts. My combat power may not be very big, but I have incredible techniques, for which thousands of people line up to learn them and for me to train them North Kai said, sticking out his chest. Oh, really? Can you show them to me? Broly said casually, without showing excessive interest, but laughing inside. North Kai laughed proudly, and as he did the important said well. I could consider it if you tell me a good joke, I expected it, but we'll see who is the one who laughs, Broly asked, making himself the surprise a joke. 
North Kai to answer his question said that's right, a joke, for example what's the only dog in the world who cannot bark? A hot dog. He he he. Said North Kai laughing while covering his mouth broly with a disinterested attitude said I'm sorry, but I just tell jokes before a broad audience, and they have to be good jokes. I have my demands as a professional North Kai felt somewhat outraged, he believed that this child was taking him lightly, he did not believe in his abilities and that's why he did not even want to try, and of course he had also underestimated his sense of humor well if there's no joke, I'm not going to show you my techniques he said as he turned back to Broly. Are you sure? Broly asked, standing with his back to the angry North Kai, yeah, I'm sure. North Kai said angrily, for nothing in the world? Broly asked, with a childish tone yes, for nothing in the world North Kai said, reaffirming once more oh. It's a shame, just when I wanted to offer you a gift? Broly said once more in a childish tone, no matter what you promise, my answer will remain the same North Kai said, crossing his arms and looking at the sky. Well, it's a pity. I had heard the rumor that you are a great lover of cars. That's why I wanted to give you this latest model, of my Mercedes Maybach 6 Cabriolet of gold and platinum, it's a great pity. I thought that you would love this model the moment Broly finished his sentence, a car appeared from nowhere, a car that only can be defined by a masterpiece, a work of art that no collector could stop looking. North Kai who had been listening to everything Broly said, he noticed that something quite big had appeared out of nowhere, and that his antennae were moving at an alarming rate for some reason. He turned to see what had appeared, and as soon as he saw what there was, he fell in love with that car, he couldn't believe there could be such a beautiful thing in the galaxy. And at the same time, he regretted what he said moments ago, it's the most beautiful car I've seen in my long life. If the other Kai saw me driving it, surely they would die of envy I must get it, even if I have to swallow my words, North Kai, with an attitude that had undergone a 180 degree change, said as he approached Broly. Well, I think I've been carried away by my emotions, and it's not right to refuse a gift, maybe? But Broly without letting him finish the sentence it's a pity you don't want it, it's a unique model, anyway Broly said that he created an energy sphere and threw it at the car. Boom! Spraying it in a second. North Kai, realizing what had happened, he felt as if his soul had broken. No! North Kai, with his mouth wide open and with tears in his eyes, approached Broly and, crying with rage, asked him, why did you do that? It was the most perfect car that has ever existed, it did not deserve such an end Broly pretending he did not understand the reason for North Kai's attitude said you told me you would not accept it, and I did not need it, so I destroyed it. Did you happen to want it? Broly asked, making it look like he realized he had done something wrong. North Kai threw himself on the ground with his legs, crying for the loss and answered yes. I loved it very much a lot. Broly asked with a slightly malevolent laugh yes, very much, I had never seen a work of art as perfect as that car Nortkai said while trying to dry some tears that stopped falling from his eyes as much as to teach me your techniques? Broly asked with a clearly evil laugh, as much as to sell you my soul if necessary. Nortkai said, totally desperate, as if he had seen the death of his family. Broly laughed like the inspector's bad gadget and said I don't need that much, but here you have it, remember your promise Broly snapped his fingers and the landscape destroyed with pieces of scattered car changed radically, the car that seemed destroyed returned to normal, as majestic as before. North Kai with a sentimental chaos, in which stupefaction, joy and anger came together, he turned to Broly and said, what did you just do? Have you cheated on me all this time? Didn't you destroy it? Has it been an illusion? Broly, trying to hold back the laugh, said I guess the answer is yes to all ha ha ha. Come on, don't get angry like that, I thought you liked jokes North Kai who hadn't yet recovered from the emotional disorder that Broly had caused him thought, this child is a bastard. I almost prefer the scion who destroy planets, come on, don't put on this face, if you show me your techniques the car is all yours said Broly shaking a key. He he he, poor thing, he probably thinks that the jokes are over, North Kai, at Broly's promise, he regained his spirits, so much that he almost forgot how he had deceived him a few seconds ago. So grateful and so eager was he to get that car that practically treated him as if he were his best friend. Okay, if you insist so much, I'll show you, but first you'll need to pass some tests that. North Kai stopped short of his sentence, as Broly again pointed to the car with a ball of energy, he quickly caught the message. Okay, okay okay? I've already caught the message, no tests. Mother of God, these young people don't have patience Broly cancelled his attack North Kai side and said the first technique I'll teach is called K.O. Ken, it's an awesome technique, you'll see, HMHMHM it is a technique that multiplies the user's key, thus increasing their power and speed. North Kai observed the facial expression of Broly, and saw that he was surprised, which made him be proud of himself and his creation impressive right. 
Broly, with a casual attitude said yes, it is quite impressive that someone has created a technique so similar to mine, the fun starts, North Kai who was still in his narcissistic world said true, yes? It is impressive that. Hey! What have you said? It is impossible that anyone could have invented but immediately left his speech, since Broly was performing exactly the same technique he had created but had been unable to use, the K.O. Ken. North Kai's face was as green as a Namekian's, a child so small had performed one of his two secret techniques as if nothing this is impossible, it cannot be happening but Broly interrupted him yes, yes, very interesting. I already knew it, what's the other? North Kai, trying to recover the tranquility thinking about his future new car that that dwarf bastard had promised him, since he still had an ace up his sleeve he said okay, we'll talk later how did you discover that technique, now I'm going to show you one that you cannot possibly know, I call it spirit bomb. Spirit Bomb gather huge amounts of energy from all chosen surrounding life forms and inanimate objects to conduct that energy into a massive sphere of astounding destructive power. What do you tell me about this? Surely you don't know that, right? Broly as if he did not want the thing made a simplified version of the Spirit Bomb in his hand and said is it something like this? Eh. North Kai was on the verge of a depression. Broly, faking disappointment, said what a waste of time, I've come here, I've given a car and I haven't learned anything. I get to know, and I don't come North Kai, who looked like a soul in pain, approached Broly barely without energy and asked him as if it were his last will please, tell me how you got those techniques, I beg you. Broly trying to retain all the evil inside him answered, the truth is that I had a day in the bathroom, I was defecating, one thing led to the other and I came up with these two techniques I was a little inspired that day, with those words North Kai turned completely pale, his antennae fell like leaves in the fall, he was completely petrified, like a corpse during the rigor mortis, his eyes, despite being covered by a pair of sunglasses was empty, looking at nowhere. It seemed as if he had passed out standing, and tried to commit suicide by holding his breath. A scion boy under 10 has gotten a few minutes of being in the bathroom more than me in hundreds of years. I don't want to continue living, it's a joke man, these are your techniques, I gathered the 7 Dragon Ball and I wanted among other things the best techniques of the universe, and the K.O. Ken and the Spirit Bomb were some of them, that's why I had come to visit you. I was just kidding said Broly patting North Kai on the back once he regained consciousness, the desire to live, and increased the desire to kill that dwarf bastard. He was surprised by a detail of what Broly had said, Dragon Ball? Those on the planet Namek? As I planned, he told me about the planet Namek, Broly making himself the stranger said planet Namek? What do you mean? If you don't know Namek? Where did you use the Dragon Ball? Asked North Kai, since the Dragon Ball is an object that only the Namekians can create, and there are only Namekians in Namek. From the Earth Broly replied, from the Earth. North Kai asked yes, the current Kami of Earth created them, they are a bit limited, but the results are pretty decent said Broly, directing the conversation to where he wanted. North Kai was surprised by the declaration of Broly, but soon understood what happened by chance the Kami of the Earth is green and has antennae yeah, he's also a little wrinkled and lately with some fart problems said Broly trying to hold his laugh. Then your Kami is a native inhabitant of Namek, and not a normal one, very few are able to create Dragon Balls North Kai said surprised. North Kai explained about the Namekians, seeing that Broly showed interest in them, North Kai explained everything he knew, including the coordinates of the planet Namek. Well, I go back to Earth to talk with Kami, my intuition tells me that he doesn't know about his origins. Take, enjoy your new car. We'll see each other again said Broly, tossing the keys to North Kai and then disappearing. North Kai was relieved by Broly's disappearance and extremely cheerful as he observed the key in his hand, headed dancing to his new car. Oh. That child is a real bastard, but he is very generous, he he he. It's the best gift I have ever received North Kai said as he entered the beautiful and comfortable interior of his luxurious convertible car. Nervously he sat in the driver's chair to drive him for the first time, and once he sat down. A loud bang of fart exploded from the chair where the poor North Kai was sitting, so powerful was the sound that North Kai shot out of the car, dropping to the ground five meters ahead. When North Kai regained consciousness, he looked forward and saw a note that was five centimeters in front of him. Hello, North Kai. I forgot to mention that there was a small fart cushion inside the chair. Don't forget to remove it before mounting, or something dangerous could happen. Fondly. Broly North Kai was red due to rage. He understood perfectly that Broly's bastard had placed precisely this note in this position, since he calculated that it would be here where North Kai would land after sitting down. He had teased him again. Broly- uh...
North Kai shouted to the sky, in the direction of the earth, ha 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 ha. I know I'm repeating myself with this joke, but never underestimate a classic, the extreme fart has always been a humorous element in all cultures. The fart unites us as living beings, why was Broly doing this, besides having fun? He already knew the direction of planet Namek, he didn't need to come to see North Kai for this. However, he needed someone to give him that official information. There were people like Wiz who could investigate the past, it would be very suspicious if he knew so many things, even with the wish of the Dragon Balls. Besides, he also needed a contact in the other world for future operations, and who better than the recognized North Kai who had helped the Z Warrior so much? Well, it's time to continue with my plan, get the power. Let's see how our dear Kami is, surely he is dying to see me, Temple of Kami. Kami was on the outskirts of Kami's temple, sitting in the robotic chair that Broly had given him, the chair from which Mr. Popo had already removed the bag of farts. This place is so peaceful, especially since Broly is gone. I miss times like these said Kami-sama, with a face that showed an indescribable happiness and tranquility. But suddenly, Broly appeared in front of him, only an inch from his face, Hi Kami, I have interesting news for you. Aha! Kami shouted in fright, falling backwards from the chair. Oh no! He's back! Hi Kami, hello Popo, sorry to come without warning, but I have fresh news about Kami's origin and I don't know if you know said Broly, raising Kami with telekinesis. Kami and Mr. Popo, had enough reasons to recriminate and criticize Broly, his farewell had left them with several surprises, but, they were too intrigued by what he had to say to them to change the subject, since Kami had lost his childhood memories of a blow to the head, the original Goku. Broly explained what North Kai had told him about Namek, its inhabitants, and the cataclysm that the planet suffered. Mr. Popo and Kami were surprised by the news, but not too much since everything what Broly said fit perfectly with Kami and his past it was evident that he was telling the truth. In short, the god of the planet Earth is an alien. What would the nationalist Earthlings think if they knew? Broly said, trying to bring a comical vision to the tense situation. Yes, it seems pretty funny said Kami, who was surprised by his past, and by knowing that he still had family in another world. What do you say Kami, are you coming to visit your world with me? Broly asked casually. Kami, suspicious of Broly's intentions, asked, why are you so interested in going to the planet Namek, and why do you want me to accompany you? I find it very curious Broly, pretending to be offended by Kami's words Kami, you offended me. Do you think I'm a person who only does things if they benefit him? That I am some kind of evil being who has ulterior motives in everything he does? Kami stared at him, he didn't say anything, but his silence said more than any word. Broly had to confess okay, it's okay, I confess. The truth is that I would like to use the Dragon Ball of Namek for a little thing, that apparently yours cannot do. I thought that if I went with you, to speak well of me, the person who has managed to reunite you with your family. I wouldn't have many obstacles. Kami, somewhat calmer to know Broly's intentions, said I would love to accompany you, but, I'm afraid I cannot accompany you. I am the Kami of the Earth, I cannot get away from the planet now. I cannot abandon my functions. Also, I don't think I should go yet. But don't worry, I will give you a letter in which I will talk about you, surely when the person in charge will help you said Kami, it seems he doesn't want to go partly because he split into two parts. Creating Piccolo. I guess he feels embarrassed in some way, Kami handed him a letter written on Namekian. He told him to give it only to the leader of the Namekians and not to read it. Broly, despite being a bastard, he respected Kami's wishes and wouldn't spy. Thank you very much, Kami. See you soon said Broly teleporting when Kami realized that the danger had passed, he sighed and said. I'd rather not see you too soon, I hope they pay attention to my letter and nothing bad happens to them. Brothers, for your sake, listen to me said Kami to himself in some place of outer space, Broly appeared. The most surprising thing of all is that he seemed to be able to survive in the vacuum of space without any problem. A thing that at first was impossible for any scion. Broly just appeared and created a clone, I will send 49% for my BC plan and my original 50% for the AB plan, both disappeared. The original body traveled to the planet Namek. To save time, Broly appeared directly in front of the Great Patriarch, right in front of his great body. Before he could talk, Nail the Patriarch's faithful guardian acted. Be careful, Patriarch he said as he ran toward Broly, but, he never reached him. Using telekinesis, Broly held him in the air, making it impossible for him to move forward. Both the Great Patriarch and Nail quickly understood something about Broly he was too powerful, they couldn't do anything against him. I have already shown my power, now it's time to show my kind face, wow, you are very similar to Kami. Good morning, my name is Broly, 
and it came in the name of my dear friend Kami. He is a Namekian who escaped from the planet Namek during the Cataclysm and who is now the guardian of our planet. Although I would also need you to help me with a little thing, if you could be so kind said Broly, respectfully introducing himself. The Great Patriarch, quite interested in what Broly had said, asked a Namekian who escaped. Yes, a Namekian who knows how to create Dragon Balls, I have come here among other things for you to help me with a wish I want to ask your Dragon Balls said Broly trying to be more specific the Great Patriarch, with a smile said oh he must be the son of Kataz, that child was a prodigy, it doesn't surprise me that he has become the guardian of a planet. It is a relief to know that he is safe and sound. I suppose he hasn't come because he has his obligations to attend as guardian of his planet, in the same way that I have others. As for the wish, we need to talk about it among the different leaders. Broly, who feared that the process of asking for his wish would be too long, decided to take out the letter that Kami gave him, to expedite the process Kami handed me this letter for you to read, he told me that with this you would surely help me said Broly, delivering the letter to the great patriarch with telekinesis. Surely this letter explains how great I am and how much I have helped them in these five years, the great patriarch opened the letter and read it carefully several times, interspersing the reading with observing Broly. After several minutes of deliberating internally, he said. Okay, you can use the Dragon Ball, I'll send some messages to the other villages, in a few hours everything will be ready thank you very much Patriarch, if you'll excuse me, I'll be absent for a moment I'll be back soon said Broly as he disappeared as suddenly as he had appeared. When he disappeared, Nail that had been listening all the conversation suspended in the air, fell to the ground. Great Patriarch, are you sure to let that person use the Dragon Ball? Nail asked which for some reason or another, didn't like Broly. Yes, I think it's the best we can do said the Great Patriarch, not overly motivated by his decision. Great Patriarch, what did that letter say? Nail asked, who understood that the reason behind the Patriarch's actions was due to that letter. Read it yourself Nail the Great Patriarch handed the letter to Nail. Nail read the letter and was surprised by the contents of it. Namekians, please, do what he tells you. If you don't please him, it is very likely that he will be day and night embittering your life. He is not a bad boy, I do not think he asks for anything bad, and I doubt he will hurt any of you, but, pay attention to me, for your mental health. Do what he asks you. Please. PDT, don't sit down in anything that he gives you nail with cold sweat on his forehead and antennae thought, what the hell is this boy? Broly appeared in an uninhabited place on the planet Namek. Time to create my second ambassadorship said Broly concentrating on his nun. Broly was about to use one of the skills he had discovered he possessed over the years. In Hunter x Hunter there were characters with special properties or advantages in some aspect of their nun, like Neferpatu they had a special. An N with an irregular shape, which could deform and move freely, avoiding distributing the N equally in a circular way. Broly had discovered that his N had a special ability too. He could fragment it. Broly could extract part of his N and leave it parked in a specific area. With it, whatever distance he was, he would be able to detect perfectly at every moment everything covered by that N. This skill not only allowed him to separate his N for remote monitoring, also allowed him to separate his formless realm, which was directly connected to his N. With this, Broly could inject part of his formless realm inside that separated N, being able to enter and exit from it without any problem in that area through his formless realm. He called this skill ambassadorship. Broly after creating his ambassadorship returned to where the great patriarch was. Hi friends, are the Dragon Balls ready yet? Said Broly, appearing out of nowhere. The Namekians who hadn't yet seen him were surprised by his appearance and energy. Nail, acting as a spokesperson, told Broly they will be here in a few minutes. By the way, what is the wish you want to ask? Broly smiled mischievously and replied, we'll all know in a few seconds. It will depend on whether I get the information I want elsewhere but before that I need to ask Patriarch for another small favor Zuno's home planet Zuno, the traditional stereotyped Japanese alien who knew everything, accompanied by his two mini-selves were drinking tea. Some hooded man appeared behind them and put three swords of energy near their necks, the hooded person said in a sinister and threatening way. You won't ask any questions. You won't make any movement. You won't try to find out who I am you won't try to explain, and you will avoid knowing what happened here today. You won't speak unless I authorize you apart from that, you will answer my questions in a way that I don't need to ask you that same question again. If you have understood everything I said, nod Zuno's fearing for his life and with cold sweat descending on his forehead, he nodded without thinking well, I'm glad you understand the situation. First question, how do you know so many things? Asked the hooded person. I have the ability to know the answer to the questions that are asked, or I formulate myself, sir said Zunos, fearing for his life pleased by the response the hooded man said interesting, very interesting. 
Well, now my second and maybe that last question. What are the exact coordinates of the Super Dragon Balls? Zuno, hearing about the Super Dragon Ball, hesitated for a second. Second, in which the energy sword came closer to the neck of the three. Seeing that he wasn't bluffing, ended up answering about the location of the seven Super Dragon Ball that were between universes 6 and 7. Thank you very much for your help, and remember your promise. Be quiet fatty said that mysterious person before disappearing as suddenly as appeared in outer space, in a place far from the universe 7 the mysterious hooded man who seconds ago was threatening Zuno, appeared as if by magic in front of an uninhabited planet. That person concentrated energy in his hand, forming a sphere of green energy. After concentrating enough energy in that sphere, he threw it against the planet, creating a big explosion. Due to the explosion that this caused, the impact and fragments ripped that person's cloak. Indeed, he was our favorite anti-hero. Broly, or more specifically, the clone with only 49% of his power. Broly with great satisfaction watched the destruction that his attack had caused, but above all, what revealed. In front of him was a dragon ball, a colossal dragon ball with the size of a planet. It has been very easy to find the first, it's been worth it. It wasn't necessary to resort to Zuno, since I have built a quite powerful dragon ball radar, but, this is much faster. Nor was it necessary to threaten him in that way, but, although I don't agree with Zamasu on some things. I must admit that this psychopath knew how to be effective, in addition, I don't want to give my first kiss in this life to an obese man to get a GPS address. Now all you have to do is request two wishes, and gather them all, Broly approached the Super Dragon Ball and touched the surface. When touched, on the surface Super Dragon Ball a green energy began to devour the colossal Super Dragon Ball with the size of a planet, very slowly. It will take me a lot of time energy to shallow the seven Super Dragon Balls in my formless realm, but it is better than having them in view of everyone. Likewise, when I take them out, the used energy will come back to me. I'm only borrowing something from this universe, seven to mine universe, besides I'm doing it without interest I am a generous and just person, for which the conditions of my abilities are also the same, planet Namek after a few hours, seven Namekians had brought the seven dragon balls, everything was ready to make a wish. We have already collected the seven dragon balls although there are certain limitations, you can ask for three wishes. Do you already know what wishes you are going to ask? The distrustful nail asked Broly in the end I just need to ask for two wishes, I don't want to abuse your kindness Broly said politely. The Namekians upon hearing these words were more relieved and drastically improved the image they had of Broly. Besides, I cannot simply ask you for something so valuable without giving anything in return. That's why I brought gifts. Broly said as he took out several capsules from his formless realm. Broly threw them to the ground and from them appeared a large number of products dedicated to welfare, domestic tasks and agriculture. Products that Broly thought could interest them because of their hermit and quiet lifestyle dedicated to cultivate a Jaisa to return the planet Namek to its previous status. Broly explained to the surprised Namekians the functions of the different robotic devices that he gave them and how they should be used correctly. The Namekians thanked him enormously. These artifacts would help them greatly in their daily life. Especially they thanked him for the agricultural technology, thanks to it, they would be able to cover the planet Namek with a Jaisa in a few years, returning to their planet the ancient splendor that it once had, before the cataclysm. The person who at first seemed to be a time bomb that threatened the peace of the peaceful life of the Namekians. The person they all suspected and tried to keep their distance only fulfilled his demands by the letter they had received from one of their own, had proved to be their greatest benefactor. Even the proud and distrustful Nail had no choice but to thank Broly for everything he had done, and apologize for his previous behavior. Broly something blushed by the flattery he was receiving said it hasn't been anything, it hasn't been anything ha ha ha. It's the least I can do when such nice people let me use their dragon balls. I don't want anyone to say on any planet that Broly is not a generous person. By the way Nail, before asking for the wish, I have a special gift for the great patriarch Nail, still influenced by the gratitude he felt, took those words with joy. Broly had been very generous to all the inhabitants of the planet. In addition, the fact that Broly wanted to have a detail specifically for the Patriarch, the most important and beloved person of all Namek made him extremely happy, raising for him the status of Broly again. I have noticed that the Patriarch is always sitting in his chair without being able to move. I suppose that due to its great size and age, it must be complicated to go outside. That's why I thought this could be very useful said Broly as he pulled out a large object from his formless realm. It was a large flying chair, similar to the one Frisia or Zuno had, but much larger, a large size that fit perfectly with the body of the Great Patriarch. With this chair, the Great Patriarch will surely be able to go abroad and visit the whole planet Namek without worry, apart, it is very comfortable. 
I'm sure he'll be elated. The instructions are on the right side pocket, said Broly with a benevolent face, as if he were a kind of saint who hadn't committed any sin in his life. All the Namekians thanked him again for this great and fantastic gift, all except Nail, who had suddenly remembered a certain warning from the letter. Thank you very much for your kindness Broly, I will give this gift to the great patriarch after you ask for your wish, I'm sure he will be enormously grateful said Nail, who, although it was hard to notice. He didn't trust Broly so much anymore. Minutes later, Paranga, the dragon of planet Namek, was summoned. After the oldest Namekian there was in that place, he went to where the dragon ball were and said certain words in Namekian. After these words, the dragon balls began to shine more intensely and without pause. The sky began to darken, and the atmosphere became incredibly unusual. From the dragon balls, a light appeared that extended towards the sky. Within a few seconds that light that seemed to envelop the sky materialized in a huge green muscular dragon with red eyes, who seemed to look at the ground with arrogance. Big, muscular, and green. I love this Paranga, he reminds me of someone. Someone very handsome, strong, intelligent and transformed ha 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 ha, you have collected all seven dragon balls and now as it is return. Think wisely and I will grant you three wishes within my power said Paranga the Namekian who had invoked Paranga told him what is your wish? Tell me and I will tell Paranga on your behalf okay, my first wish is to know the language of the gods said Broly. The Namekian asked the wish in his language nail, surprised by this desire asked Broly why do you want to know the language of the gods? Broly in a teasing tone said to know if they speak ill of me and to insult them in their language, of course Nail preferred not to insist, he knew he wouldn't get a serious answer Paranga spoke, okay, I'll grant your wish Paranga's eyes gleamed, and a new language appeared in Broly's brain, the wish had been successful the Namekian turned to Broly and asked, what is your second wish? Broly confidently said it won't be necessary Broly using the language of Namek said my wish is very simple. I just want to be teleported to the universe 6 inch the Namekian were surprised by the fact that he knew their language and by the wish he had formulated, many wanted to ask him about both, but before they had the chance. Paranga spoke, okay, I'll grant your wish Paranga's eyes sparkled and Broly began to gradually disappear, they could only hear a few last words of Broly before he disappeared completely. I learned Namekian in a 40 hour online course then disappeared. The Namekian present didn't have too much time to assimilate everything that had happened and had been said, but quickly regained their composure. After a few seconds they spoke again, what a strange child, but we have to be grateful, he has given us a lot in exchange for very few. What do you think if we all go together to give the flying chair to the great patriarch? Asked one of the Namekians. They all backed that idea, except one. Nail without saying anything approached the flying chair, reached out and inspected the chair, and once he pressed the cushion pfffffffff, the sound of a fart echoed, the Namekians who were in that place were stunned by what had happened, what was that? Asked some Namekians Nail was relieved to have discovered that joke and something angry with Broly said I think we just found out what that letter was referring to. We have to be grateful to that Kami. Somewhere in the universe, 6. A boy with three eyes and a monkey tail appeared on a planet similar to the planet Namek. So I'm already in universe 6. Perfect. While my clone is dedicated to collecting the other two Super Dragon Ball that are missing, I will dedicate myself to collecting those from this universe. It may turn into a dangerous journey, since it is likely that a certain overweight god of destruction is looking for them too. However, it's necessary. Only the Super Dragon Ball can grant me that wish. And that concludes this episode. If you enjoyed it, I'd seriously love it if you guys could leave a like on the video as it genuinely helps out so much, and it keeps me going. Plus it takes only one second. That said, have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.